70 years ago, more than 100 young Cubans attacked this military base in the eastern city of Santiago de Cuba, hoping to ignite an uprising against the government of Fulgencio Batista. The attack was botched and the fighters were rounded up, some imprisoned, others executed, many tortured. José Alberto León was just a teenager, but it left an impression. The brutality with which the dictatorship reacted to the attacks made many young people aware of what the Batista dictatorship represented. León went on to join Fidel Castro's self-proclaimed rebel army in the late 50s and rolled into Havana with Castro in the January 1959 revolution before becoming his chauffeur and bodyguard. He says it's upsetting to see Cubans struggling, but that he doesn't regret his decision. I'm 87 now. I've still got a few years left and I can still put my finger on the trigger to defend any just cause. Castro's ashes are buried here in Santiago and the 26th of July, National Rebellion Day, remains the most important date on the political calendar. But residents of Santiago have paid a high price. People here in Cuba's second city are harder hit by the country's economic crisis than those in the capital. Several people I spoke to today told me they haven't received cooking oil rations for three months. In such hard times, do people think that the attack on the Moncada barracks and the revolution it sparked was worth it? Opinions are divided. I was born in the 1960s, and with the triumph of the revolution, I became a professional. My family didn't have to pay a penny, so for me it was worth it. We are suffering a lot today, but it was worth it. This young teacher thinks it's wrong to celebrate when there are so many shortages. What's the point of independence and revolution if there's hunger, scarcity of goods, and if public health is getting worse? I'm a teacher, and we're teaching without resources. It's really hard to raise a child. I'm not counter-revolutionary, but I'm not blind either. In this city, long considered the birthplace of the revolution, prolonged hardship is cutting into government support. Ed Augustin, Al Jazeera, Santiago de Cuba.